I went and got some new speakers to put in here. So I'm gonna let you come along for the ride with me while I try to figure out how to put these in. It's back. All right, so take this car apart. What you gotta do is you gotta take out a bunch of these screws. So if that's the first thing you gotta do, you gotta take this one out right here. And there's a little panel right here. If you look, there's a little tiny little tab. You can fit a screwdriver in there. Take it a couple. Boom. You got two more bolts right there to take out. All right, then once you got these three bolts, Undone, the door should let go. Technically, you should not be using a metal screwdriver to do this. You should be finding something plastic, but I don't care. Woo! It's forced to get off. Ah, man. All right, now once you get all of those undone, the whole thing lifts right off. And if you look, you see all these like wiring harnesses and stuff? It's gonna unclip those to give you a little bit of room. All right, so what you do, you see the green and the gray clip, those go to the door panel. Those are assumed to lead for the switches. So what you gotta do, you're just gonna unclip those. Cause right here is what I need to get to. So there's a little bolt. You wanna do that, that releases your speaker. There you have it. After you wanna do it, just pry at it at the top. Get that little clip that I'm undoing. There you have it. Alright, so for the next couple of seconds, I just got it slumped right here so I can explain. So the stock speaker, it was kind of this unit. The entire thing is just made out of plastic. The whole basket and all this is just one stamp piece that just clips in. Obviously that one is not going to do that. If you want to give them joints to fit in, man, here's what you got to do. You got to get you some of these, put them up in there, and now let you put them together, man. Alright, here's what it should look like all mounted up. Got the mat right there to stop the rattles. Give it a nice seal. You can see how it's got a nice seal on it. Everything is in here nice and tight, nice and flush. Nothing's moving around, wiggling. Nice and tight. Fits like factory, nice and flush. At this point, just go ahead and plug everything back in, button everything back up, and test it out. Same thing for the other side over here. The only, the only difference for me, there's a bolt right here. And instead of a panel under here, you gotta take this little panel off right here. And there's two bolts to remove, and this door panel will come off. Other than that, it's the same as the other side, so I'll see you when it's done. Repeat the process. Take that guy out. Put the new guy in. Put the door panel, panel back on and button everything. So for the finished product, everything's buttoned back up. It sounds pretty good. That's pretty much a little tutorial how to do this. So if you have any questions, hit me up. Anyways, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys watching this little offbeat tutorial guys peace out